Hello and welcome to EverythingVM.com. Today we're talking about KVM, which stands for Kernel Virtual Machine. Uh, KVM is a virtualization technology built into the Linux kernel. Uh, it's based on QEMU, or Quick Emulator, uh, which was used previously for virtualization. Uh, really the big difference between QEMU and KVM is KVM gives you access to virtualization uh, extensions from the hardware, for example, AMD, V, and um, Intel's implementation of that as well. So what we're going to go over today is installing KVM, and then uh, by the end you'll be able to run a virtual machine using KVM and do a live migration from one host to another. Uh, in a future video we'll go over uh, the command lines, but for today we're just going to stick to the GUI. So the first thing to do is we've got a, our terminal here. We're running Fedora Core 14, and we are running as root right now uh, so that we can install the software. So the first thing is to make sure that we have NFS installed. Now depending on your architecture, you're going to need different commands for installing uh, NFS. So in order to find the correct one for your uh, architecture, we're just going to do a yum list command and pipe that into a grep nfs command. So what this will do is list everything in the repository with nfs in the name and then we can pick out the correct package for our architecture. So this will just take a moment to run. Alright, now you see it's finished. Now uh, we're running on a 32-bit machine, so what we want to run is the i686 version. So in order to install that, we will do, um, well, first, let's look at the other parts that we need to install. So there are a few major pieces to this whole um, package. There's vert manager, vert viewer, libvert, QEM, QEMU-KVM, and uh, that's it. So vert manager is the the GUI utility for managing your virtual machines. Uh, vert viewer is what allows you to view the console of your virtual machines. Uh, libvert is the actual hypervisor that we'll be working with. And QEMU KVM is the uh, command line utility for working with KVM. So now that we know that, uh, we want to do a yum install command. And then the first thing we want to install is nfs-utils utils dot i six eighty six. We want vert manager, and we want vert viewer. And we want libvert. And finally, QEMU KVM. All right, so now it's going to download and install the packages. Uh, it'll have a couple of prompts along the way. We'll just hit yes for both of them. Uh, the first one is, do you want to download this? Second one is, do you want to install this? Uh, so, oh, there's the first prompt. So let's say yes. Now this process is going to take about five minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video until this is done installing, and then we will resume from there. All right, and we're back. Now you can see uh, above that all these packages have uh, successfully installed. So now I usually reboot after installing uh, these packages just to make sure that everything starts up properly. So I'll just issue a shutdown command and tell it to go right now. and. So while it reboots, I'll just go ahead and pause the video, and when it's done rebooting, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Our machine has finished rebooting, and so the next we can get going on the next step in our configuration. So first thing we want to do is launch another terminal window, and we need to run as root. All right, we're now running as root. Now one of the prerequisites for KVM is to have DNS working properly. You can run your virtual machines without DNS, but you might have trouble uh, migrating between hosts. Now I don't have 
a DNS server set up on my uh, network right now that just hosts the local DNS. So as a way to get around that, let's go ahead and edit the host file. Uh, by editing the host file, we will be able to um, you know, put in you know whatever name we want to resolve to whatever address. Now the host file is located at Etsy hosts and we'll use uh, GNOME editor so we can type gedit Etsy hosts and that will open a text editor so we can enter the um, location. Now notice my host right now is KVM node 1. I have another node called KVM node 2 so let's go look at what its IP address is. And the IP on this one is 10.0.0.26. So we want to be able to resolve. Uh, oop. There we go. So we want to be able to resolve 10.0.0.26 from KVM node 2.local. domain. Alright, there we go. So now if we try to ping KVM node 2, it will resolve to 10.0.0.26. Now I've already made this host file entry on the other node, so we don't have to worry about that, but you would need to do that in your two node setup. Um, make the entry on both nodes. So let's close out of uh, our hosts file. So our DNS is taken care of. Now the next thing is firewall changes. Uh, there are certain ports on the firewall that we have to uh, have access that we have to open up in order to uh, perform our migrations between uh, between hosts. So we want we have to make sure to run as root for our firewall so that we can make the changes we need. Alright, so let's close that. And we need to go to other ports and add. And we're going to be doing user defined port. It's a TCP port. And we need port the port range of 49152 to 49261. And OK. And we'll hit apply so it'll reload the settings. And our firewall changes are done. So we'll close out of the firewall. And now that our firewall changes are done, we can move on to NFS. Now, in order to have a two-node uh, setup where you can migrate your virtual machine between different nodes, you need 